Hi, I'm Adam with the Fluke Corporation. Today I'm here at Test Equipment Depot and I'm here to talk about the new Fluke IRR1 Solar Irradiance Meter. Uh, this is a brand new tool that we recently came out with specifically for the solar industry. It's a tool that allows you to take four key measurements in one, uh, being irradiance, temperature, inclination, as well as direction using a built-in compass. So this tool has a, a built-in uh, solar sensor there is on the back the temperature meter, which allows you to simply place the meter onto the panel and get the surface temperature of the panel itself. Um, it also has a built-in irradiance sensor. Uh, this is gonna take measurements up to 14 watts per square meter. There's also two options for temperature measurement. One is on the back of the meter. You actually place the meter directly onto the panel to get surface temperature. You can also use an optional temperature probe which connects to the back and that would allow you to measure the temperature on the underside of the panel which is also an important measurement. Um, the other two measurements that, we are, that are important for, for doing uh, photovoltaic systems is the integrated compass which is going to give you the orientation or the direction of this panel and finally the inclination so you would know the tilt while you're doing a survey or an installation um, or making an adjustment installation. So now we're going to do an, a quick unboxing of the IRR1 solar radiance meter. Uh, first you'll notice it comes in a really nice um, canvas bag with carrying strap. Here's the meter itself and it also comes with the accessory temperature probe that we had talked about uh, which we're going to get into in just a second. So again as I had mentioned before this does four key measurements. Um, radiance, temperature, uh, tilt, and, and compass direction. So right now you'll notice when we turn it on, um, the first thing you'll notice is here's my, here's my measurement in watts per square meters. Here's my temperature, right now it's in Celsius. I can actually push this button and change the units to Fahrenheit. So right now we're at 75.9 degrees. The indicator is showing me that I'm using the temperature probe on the underside of the meter itself. So the the first test that we're going to want to get is, is surface temperature and the sensor is right on the back here. So if we wanted to get a temperature for the back of the solar panel, we would just take this accessory temperature probe, it's the same kind of probe on the back, we're just going to plug it in here. As soon as you plug it in, you can now see on the display that we are connected to the accessory probe. So this has a suction cup on it. You can actually connect it to the underside of the panel to get that measurement as well. The other thing that we can do is we can hit the function key. And this is actually going to take us to our compass function, which you see on the top. It's basically zero to 360 degrees. It goes towards true magnetic north. So as I rotate this, you'll see the compass is moving as well. So at zero degrees, I'm going to be at true magnetic north, which is more or less that direction. Uh, the other thing that we can do is measure the tilt on the panel itself, which is really important for optimizing the, the power coming out of the panels. Um, if I'm on a roof that's not perfectly flat, so let's say that the roof angle is right here. I can actually zero it out. And this is actually gonna give me the true inclination of the panel itself. So it's a nice little function if you don't have a completely flat roof. But all in all, all four key measurements are right here in one easy to use tool uh, for all the uh, photovoltaic systems out there. For more information about the Fluke Solar Irradiance Meter, please visit testequipmentdepot.com. I'm Adam with Fluke. Thanks for watching.